Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is a 2001 Chevrolet Corvette, and today I'll show you how to install vented fog light shrouds in the front bumper. The vents will help keep the engine temperature lower and deliver more airflow to the k and cold air intake I've installed on this car. The owner of the car says the vents also seem to provide better throttle response and an improvement in bottom end power. We'll have to remove the front bumper cover to install them, but it's not that difficult, so let's get to it. Here are the tools that I used for this job. A couple socket wrenches, two long socket extensions, 10 millimeter socket, seven millimeter socket, 19 millimeter wrench, 14 millimeter wrench, needle nose pliers, plastic prying tool, a jack, and a set of jack stands. I also used an electric screwdriver until the battery died and I switched to my new impact driver. For this job I also needed a light, a creeper, a couple towels, safety glasses, gloves, two wood blocks, magnetic bowl, and a set of vented fog light shrouds. There are links in the description for everything I used. I'll start by putting the front of the car on jack stands. Even with my low profile jack, I had to drive the front tires onto wood blocks to get enough clearance. The car can be safely lifted and supported at these points. Put the headlights up, turn off the key, and open the hood. I disconnected the battery terminal because I don't know if there's an airbag sensor behind the front bumper cover, and I don't want to set off the airbags. Be careful not to drop anything under the battery. It won't be easy to find. There are six pins we need to pull from the top edge of the bumper cover. A metal prying tool would have worked better for this, so I ordered one when I was done. Remove these three screws from each wheel well. Under the front bumper, in front of each tire, there's a panel we need to remove held in with five screws. Underneath, you'll find three more screws on each side and five more along the front. This piece directing air up to the radiator also needs to be removed. It's held in place with two 10 millimeter bolts. Slide the whole thing forward to release it from its mount. Now we can access the last two screws. Above the access panel we pulled off, there are two nuts to remove at the top of the bumper on each side. I got one out using extensions, but had to reach up to get the other one. Thank you. 
Now you can start pulling off the bumper cover, but there's a wire on the passenger side we need to be careful with. You can disconnect this wire, but I got enough slack by sliding the connection off its mount. I laid a couple towels on the ground to protect the paint. Here's a quick look at what's behind the bumper cover. Each fog light shroud is held in place with three 10mm bolts. Remove the wire clips by squeezing and pushing through from behind. Install the new shroud and replace the wire. Easy peasy. Once you've done both sides, put the bumper cover partway on and slip the wire back onto its mount. Carefully line up the sides with the studs coming from the fenders and slip the top edge over the support bar. Reinstall the two 10mm nuts on each side as you line up the bumper cover with the fender. Bend these two flaps back into place and secure them with screws. Here's where my screwdriver died. I didn't start with the impact driver because I hadn't used it before and I thought it might be too powerful for these small screws, but the low power setting was perfect for this. Reinstall the five screws in the front, three on each side, and five in each access panel.
Reinstall the air scoop by sliding it back into its mount and secure it with the two 10mm bolts. Put three screws in each wheel well. Leave a comment if you know why the washers are designed this way. Reinstall the six pins along the top edge of the bumper. Check the air ducts and make sure to push them into place if they aren't lined up. Don't forget to reconnect the battery and reset the clock. Now close the hood, lower the lights, and put the car back on the ground because we're done. I have a lot more videos about this car, so check those out too. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more of the best DIY videos on the internet. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it. <laughs>